Google had a bunch of different chat applications and it turned into a little bit of a mess. Can you use Google Chat as a replacement for Google Hangouts as opposed to using it for work-related things? But basically, Google Chat has been replaced with, sorry, Google Chat has replaced what was Google Hangouts. As Google does, they turn things into a mess sometimes by building new apps from scratch instead of improving their old apps. And sometimes that's coinciding with them making technology decisions inside the business and so they literally have to rebuild something. But quite often, we end up in a situation where multiple features run in parallel, sometimes for years without Google migrating users across. It happened with Google Sites where there's like an old Google Sites now called Classic and there's a new Google Sites which are completely different, but it also happened with Hangouts. And so Hangouts Chat was the successor to Google Talk or Google Chat and that basically didn't get any development made on it in about two or three years. It lived in the browser in a little plugin inside of Chrome but didn't get any updates. And then after Slack completely decimated the market for instant messaging in businesses, Google eventually created Google Chat. And so Google Chat is you know, what we see inside our chat window now, inside Gmail. You can open it in a uh, standalone window here if you like as well. And so we have, this is my marketing's team chat where we catch up and you know talk about all of our daily tasks and everything else that we need to get done together as a team. Now, Google Chat replaced what was Google Hangouts and Google Hangouts was only really good for instant messaging people one-on-one -on -one or little small group conversations. It didn't allow you to do threaded conversations like you can do here in what Google is now calling spaces. These were previously called rooms, but they're now called spaces. But if you are not yet set up in this way where you can have multiple threads running for different chats, then I recommend you retake a look at Google Chat. I speak to many business owners and there's many commenters who say, hey, I'm still using Slack, I started using it and we just haven't stopped using it because everyone is used to it now. And I've made many videos on the, on the perils of using Google Slack, the main one being that once you reach the 10,000 message limit on the free plan, you can't access any of those old messages until you pay for a full year for everyone in the business. And what that ends up being is a very expensive mistake just to go back and answer one question or find one piece of information from a long time ago. But the biggest complaint that I've got from those who are using Slack right now and are reluctant to switch to using Google Chat is the fact that there is there are threads inside of Slack and there aren't threads inside of Workspace. Well, until now, Google Chat lets you do threads and they're pretty good. They're not quite as tidy as Slack, but they're pretty good. And so if I'm opening a new space, I'm gonna go ahead and click the plus button to create a new space. And I'm going to open up the space menu here and I'm gonna just call it test my team. And when I click this button, use threaded replies, it's gonna allow me to create threads inside that space. So let's go ahead and create the space. And here is how we have hygiene for our threads. I'm gonna open up a new thread and I'm gonna put thread title in there. And then I'm gonna do the rest of my replies under that. Now you'll see that this is gonna make sense when I've got a lot of messages in here. I'm just gonna go ahead and let that send all of those. Looks like I've hit some kind of rate limit. <laughs> Let me go ahead and refresh that page and hopefully it folds them. Hopefully it folds them up. So eventually you're gonna end up with long threads, you know, and you're gonna have lots of different threads. But if you do that little bit of thread hygiene there, you're gonna see that the thread title stays at the top and then you get all the rest of the messages under there. So that's a little pro tip if you wanna use Google Chat for your business. If you like this content, please hit subscribe and hit the bell notification so you can be notified when we go live or drop new content on the channel. Now, if you'd like to connect with us, hit us up on social media or join our free community group. All the links to that are right below this video. If you'd like to learn more about Google Workspace and the technology ecosystem, you can join our free Genius Academy by transferring your billing across to IT Genius. Or you can join a Workspace Basics Bootcamp. Now, if you're a business owner and you're interested in an audit on your technology stack or your workspace account, or you're looking to do a project in the tech world, well, you can take advantage of our free consultation. And if you need help right now, then consider joining Concierge or taking up a quick fix with our team for professional support for your tech stack.